cards or whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a final word, okay? Yeah. I know you don't know the people of Lafayette Community Church too well, and I know they don't know you too well, right. but we're on a journey together trying to become more like Jesus. Amen. And so you know Amen. you know a little bit of who we are, you know we know a little bit of who you are. So give us what is on your heart. What is the thing you want the people watching this video to know? Mm -hmm. The thing that is like the lesson, the takeaway, the most important thing on your heart that you want to share? I think, especially in, in 2021 and due to COVID has taught us a couple of things. One thing that um, maybe these million-dollar buildings that we come to worship in are not as important as we think they are, and that God might be giving us the opportunity to go back to the church in Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 4 where if we're going to build and get to the beloved community that King envisioned, that it is a community where there's equity, where there's, number one, economic equity, because with economic equity, we can prevent poverty. The text, and I'm going to paraphrase in Acts chapter 2, where in Acts chapter 4, I'm going to kind of paraphrase them together, where everyone was in common, had, this <laughs> had everything in common. Right, and they gave, they sold possessions to give to those who did not have. They didn't sell everything, but they sold for the other. Everyone had everything in common. No one was in need. And then in chapter two, towards the end, you know what the text says? And God added to the church for those who would be saved. So, if we're going to get to this beloved community that that I believe we can do. I put it to you like this. Jesus, oh, who was it? I think it was Paul. He, he gave a benediction. He said, now unto him who was able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. By what? By the power in us. Jesus said, greater works than these. He didn't say better works. He said greater <laughs> works yeah. than these. Because him as one person couldn't do a whole lot all over the world but being empowered by the Holy Spirit within us. We could change this world. Jesus took 12 disciples and turned the world upside down. Mm. And you can't tell me it's, it's, it's more than 12 disciples on this earth. Mm. And, and, and we have to, again, keep speaking the truth. Let that be the light in this dark world. 